Master Class. <clears throat> I have sent you five problems and asked you to find the solutions of these problems. Uh, we shall discuss the problems now. The first problem is this. What is the work function of a metal if the threshold wavelength for it is 580 nanometer? If light of 475 nanometer wavelength falls on the metal, what is its stopping potential? So we are asked to find out the work function of the metal. Work function of the metal you know is phi zero is equal to S nu zero. Where H is Planck's constant and nu is the threshold frequency. Here we have we are given the threshold wavelength. The wavelength is lambda 0 is equal to 580 nanometer. Now we have to convert it into meter. 1 nanometer is 10 raised to minus 9 meter. Therefore this is 580 into 10 raised to minus 9 meter. The we have to convert or we have to find out nu zero from lambda zero. For that we can use this relation C is equal to nu zero lambda zero. C is equal to nu lambda. Nu is the frequency and lambda is the wavelength. Here the frequency is nu zero and the wavelength is lambda zero. C is equal to C zero lambda zero where C is the velocity of light. Therefore nu zero is equal to c by lambda zero. Now put this value here then the work function of the metal phi zero is equal to h into c by lambda zero. Now we, then we substitute the values of the constants. h is Planck's constant which is 6.625 into 10 raised to minus 34 joule second into c the velocity of light which is 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second divided by lambda 0 is given as 580 into 10 raised to minus 9. Now when we take the powers of 10, 10 raised to minus 34 into 10 raised to 8 into 10 raised, divided by 10 raised to minus 9. If we take this 10 raised to minus 9 to the numerator we get 10 raised to 17 and uh, this is 10 raised to minus 34. 10 raised to minus 34 into 10 raised to 17 gives 10 raised to minus 17. Therefore 6.625 into 10 raised to minus 17 into 3 divided by 580. Or we can write if we put 10 raised to minus 19, we can take the decimal point here. Then this is 6.625 into 3 divided by 5.8 into 10 raised to minus 19. Now this is the work function of the metal, this much joule. If we want to convert it into electron volt, we have to divide it by 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 with, because 1 EV is equal to 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 joule. This much joule is to be converted into electron volt. For that we have to divide it by 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19. 6.625 into 3 divided by 5.8 into 10 raised to minus 19 divided by 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19. This 10 raised to minus 19, 10 raised to minus 19 gets cancelled. We get 6.625 into 3 divided by 5.8 into 1.6. Now if we evaluate this, we get the value 2.14 EV. This is 
the work function of the metal. The next part of the problem is if light of 475 nanometer wavelength falls on the metal, what is its stopping potential? Now we want to find out the stopping potential. V is equal to how much? V is zero is equal to how much? Now according to Einstein photoelectric equation, we know that S nu minus phi zero is equal to half mv square where half mv square represents the kinetic energy here the wavelength given is lambda is equal to 475 475 nanometer is equal to 475 into 10 raised to minus 9 meter now we also know that the stopping potential is the potential difference required to stop the electron or to make the kinetic energy of the electron zero. That is half mb square half mb square is equal to E into V zero where E is the charge of the electron, V zero is the stopping potential. The, if we apply V0 potential to the electron, the energy of the electron, kinetic energy of the electron can be uh, nullified by this much potential energy. Therefore, half mb square is equal to EV0. Therefore, the above equation becomes H nu minus phi 0 is equal to EV0. We have to find out V0. Therefore, V0 is equal to S nu minus phi zero divided by E. Is equal to H into C by lambda. Nu is C by lambda minus phi zero the whole into one by E. Is equal to 1 by 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 into h 6.625 into 10 raised to minus 34 into c 3 into 10 raised to 8 divided by lambda which is 475 into 10 raised to minus 9 minus phi 0 is we have this 6.625 into 10 raised to into 3 3 into 10 raised to minus 19 divided by 5.8 this much joule now here uh, this part is in joule therefore this is also must be in joule Therefore, V0 is equal to, when we simplify it, we get the value of the stopping potential as 0.45 volts.